to Dungeons Episode 2. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made my beholders for my campaign. These are actually really fun to make, and the little ones are made out of ping pong balls, and the big one here is made out of a ball pit ball. I didn't steal this. My kids actually had a ball pit, and I saw it and I thought, hey, this will be fun. So the materials that you're going to need for this project are a ball for the head, you're going to need twist ties or wire for the eye stalks, you're going to need beads for the eyes, a wooden disc and a paper clip for the stand. You're gonna need tweezers, sharpie marker, exacto knife, scissors, a pair of pliers, preferably with a wire cutter. You're gonna need a needle or a small nail. You're gonna need some paint brushes, your paint of choice, and for the material for the teeth, I prefer to use a thick plastic like the bottom of a shopping bag, the reusable ones, or some thin cardboard from like a cereal box. And the actual beholder is modeled from hot glue. Now you're probably asking yourself, why use hot glue? Well, these are a lot more fun than using a clay because when it's dry, the eye stalks are flexible which means you can pose your beholder. And that's definitely a lot of fun. Go to Sharpie, figure out where you want the eye, how big you want the eye. I tend to go really large on my eyes. Exacto knife, mine's all rusted. Next step, you take the needle, you poke a hole, we're going to put the stand, of course you have to think about where his face is going to be, closer to the mouth, have him facing down more, further away from the mouth, have him facing upward, so usually if he's on the stand you want him looking down at your targets, so. enough. Now if you're going to do a beholder that's mouth is going to be enclosed, it's not going to be open, you still will have to cut a hole to pour the hot glue in to hold your stem in place. So once you do that and you get it glued in there really good, you can just use your needle, kind of pop it back out and get the shape back and then just hot glue over that. Think about how tall you want your beholder to be compared to your figure. You don't want to use it in just an L shape because what may happen is your hot glue may loosen up over time and your beholder will just slide to the side. This bend will ensure that it stays exactly where you want it. Use your wire cutters and just snip off the excess. So once you have the head attached to the base, you're going to want to work on teeth. I'm going to use this thin cardboard 
for the teeth on these, I use the plastic that I have, but I realize that some of you may not have that plastic, so we'll just use the cardboard. Pretty much attach the bottom teeth the same way you attach the top teeth. But I want to give this one a tongue, like this. So I cut one out of the cardboard. This bend is going to be where it's going to attach to the inside of the lip, like this. But we want this to look like a real tongue. So we're going to cover the top of this with the hot glue. just the part that's actually going to stick out on the mouth. Let's take this, like a pen or needle or something, put a crease down the side. in there and it's going to look like a tongue. Just trim off the excess there. You're going to get your twist ties. Five twist ties, make ten eye stalks. They're gonna be all the same length. And you need beads out and pick ten beads about the same size. You take your eye, put it on one end. stay in place. Working on the eyes when they're on the boulder's head already, it's kind of difficult. Get the eyelids shape without messing it up. So the thing I like to do is go ahead and make the eyelid first. You take the hot glue and you go around. Side of the feet, leaving it pretty much where the eye would be open, make the lids. And then behind that, you're going to fill in this little area with some hot glue. All right, now you're finished with your eye stalks. You have the hot glue, eyelids around the bead, and pretty much the beginning of the eye stalk built up, and then you have your twist tie in the middle here, ready. So you're going to take your hot glue, put it across the middle, twist off the excess. And secure that bad boy. And hold. All right, now that you have the twist ties attached, you can start filling it in with hot glue and building up the face. So, <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you're not really all that artistic, this is actually fun to do. While you're putting the hot glue in between the eye stalks, you can kind of like move the eye stalks out of the way to make things a little easier. You're gonna go over the top of the twist tie to kind of keep it in place and then just Fill it in with a hot glue. 
try not to touch the ball too much with your metal tip of your hot glue because it will actually melt the ball too. So. Now you're going to want to take your hot glue gun and fill in the eye stalks in spots where the twist tie is exposed. So once your little eye stalks are dried, that should be pretty poseable. Next step is to work on the face. This might be intimidating to people who aren't artistic, but it's actually not that hard. And uh, you can get a range of expressions. So the first step is to just kind of fill in around the mouth and eye, slightly like you did the back of the ball. Just kind of put a thin layer on. So what I do is I just pin out pretty thick. Hold him facing upward so your hot glue doesn't roll down the mouth. If you have issues with any empty areas, you can use a toothpick or a needle. Kind of slide it down some. going to go across the top of the eye to make the eyebrow ridge. If you want a more angry, malicious expression, you'll actually come down across the top of the eye to make a bump in the middle. He's gonna look way too happy this way. So now that your beholder's finished, it's time to paint. I already painted a layer of red on the inside of the mouth and the tongue with a thin flat brush. What I like to do is go over the entire beholder with a dark gray. painting 
this guy and this guy. So I worked on these between takes. This is George. And this is my spectator. This is a bouncy ball covered in hot glue. So hopefully it turns out pretty cool. Once they're dried, they're ready to paint. George, I plan on painting like the abominable snowman from the Bugs Bunny cartoons. Because I will stroke him and love him and name him George. So he's going to be white, but I'm going to put blue around his mouth and on his eye socks. I don't know what color I'm going to make this one yet, but I'm going to make him green. So, let's get started. Once you're finished painting your beholders and your spectators, there's a couple of more steps before you're completely finished. You're going to hot glue some heavy washers on the bases of your beholders so that they don't tip over quite so easily, especially if they're tall. The shorter ones don't tip over, but the tall ones will. Then you're going to take a gloss varnish and gloss the eyes and the tongues. You can also drip hot glue off the tongue for that stringy drool effect. You can seal your creations with some Mod Podge or a spray-on acrylic sealer. Once you've mastered this technique, you can use it to make things like zombie boulders with empty eye sockets, missing eye stalks, or you can cut up a ping pong ball and refit it to be a death tyrant. You can even make a death kiss. Her eye stalks have become suckers and they're very long and she's fully posable so she can actually hold your player's miniature. Once you've mastered these techniques you can make any beholder you want. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.